so I believe it's very important that I make this video but I would like to mention is that I have a goldfish in here that does have a fairly large tumor and I've had a goldfish with a tumor before and I let it grow till it lysed and the fish died a pretty sad death so I let this fishy stay on for a while but now that the tumor is fairly large decided it's time to put it down. Now, there are cases where you may have to put down a fish yourself, and I think it's important that I document this because um, this is probably one of the easier methods to put down a fish humanely. Right now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of water to the Ziploc bag. It's the easiest way to mix up the clove oil. Oils don't mix too well with water, so you definitely want to mix it really well in the Ziploc bag, which makes it much easier. You want to make sure you mix up your clove oil mixture into water before you add the fish in water. Like I said, because it doesn't mix well and you don't want to be stirring it around with the fish in there. You definitely don't want to do that. I would leave the recommended dosage in the description. So now I'm just going to add a few drops of clove oil. Then I'm just gonna shake it. You're gonna get this cloudy solution once it's mixed in well. And then I'm gonna add it to the extra water I'm gonna add to this bucket and then add the fish. And you can see the fish isn't really that distressed, but you can see it's starting to pass out quite quickly. See the fish is knocked out at this point but you want to leave them in there longer because what you don't want to do is you don't want to leave your fish in there take him out immediately and the anesthesia might run out and he might not even be fully knocked out just because he stopped moving temporarily so you want to just leave him like that for a while I'm not sure if you can see it, but there is still some slight movements. Um, might not show that well in this video. There's still some slight movements. That's why I do definitely recommend you leave it for 10 minutes before you uh, pull them out of the water. Just because it seems like they stopped moving doesn't mean they're completely passed out yet. 